Does that work better for you? Yeah. Okay, okay there you go. All right. Yeah, this is cool. You got all the artwork all over the wall. Yeah, everything over here is Don Wheeler. Uh, did all this artwork. Uh -huh. Tell Hicks. That's um, <laughs> my, my, my Right favorite. there, Tell Hicks. That's right. All Everything on this wall and this wall is Tells. And everything in the gift store is Tells. That's awesome. Thing. Yeah, and then uh, Mark and then I noticed there. I noticed the heel at the, the tell did at the front door. That's oh yeah, the heel there. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, I did some pictures of that. that he yeah, that for about two months. We were walking in and we were like, Oh my God, check yeah, this yeah. out. These are cool too. These cactus. Yeah, these are great. A place called Desert Steel does these. These are really neat. Yeah, we love these. Yeah, we, we were cool enough. I saw them outside. I thought they were real. Yeah. They I was like, Check out those big cactuses. They yeah, cool. These Chris is like. And Forrester going, no, those are fake. And I'm like, dude, no way, those are real. Yeah, no, they're <laughs> cool. Yeah, we had, we had a lot of people doing rubbernecks, and we were putting yeah. them, also driving them in locals. Like, what in the hell? See, Karen, this Yeah, where the hell did that come from? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> God. So. Oh, this is cool. Look at all the tur turtle shells and stuff. That's really cool. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. Um, there was a guy in Chicago who used to all these skeletons, and he used to do all these weird uh, skeletons of all these different animals. Uh, oh, is that the stuff. guy who does the weird stuff with the rats and stuff? No, too? it's a different guy. That guy's really weird, too. Yeah. But, I but I don't have any <laughs> his skeleton yeah. people. <laughs> yeah, no, it was weird, but no. Uh -huh. So, oh, man. Um, yeah, it's got some old snake bite kits uh, from uh, going back. Oh, to wow, time, check so. that out. Yeah, it's all the old different snake bite kits. Yeah, got some old snake oil bottles from back in the. Uh, wow, century. <laughs> snake oil! <laughs> it will cure anything. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. You go you used to go to your doctor back in the 30s and 40s. Hey, doc, I got this rash. Give him snake oil. That's right. And uh, we haven't let, we haven't got the museum part really actually. Uh, ready to go yet, but all this stuff is different. Um, old books and artifacts from old herpetologists. That's what all this stuff that is. That is cool. And this will be all labeled better. We do have some of the old letters from uh, uh, Lawrence Clauber and Howard Lloyd here, uh, and some photographs uh, up on the wall here, just gonna show some of the stuff from the early wow. uh, early part of the 19th. Yeah. These are guys who, like, are the grandfathers, the founders of this whole thing. You know, these are these guys have snakes named after them. This is, that's so cool to have some of this. And these are actual letters from that. Top rattlesnake guys from back in, you know, the, the guys, you know, back the, in the, yeah, the 40s, These 50s, are, 60s. you know, yeah. the holy grail of guys. Yeah. It's like, I'm not worthy. That's right, that's right. <laughs> it's, they just, they started all this, you know. It's, for way back then, it's just amazing. You know, it shows you how far we've come and how long it's been around. It's just so cool, and people are like, oh, it's just a fad. Yeah, it's a fad. <laughs> yeah. You know, my mom, when I was a kid, I'd, my pants would be hopping across the floor. I had frogs and everything in my pockets, yeah. and she's like, tell my dad, oh, don't worry, it's a fad. <laughs> Guess what, Mom? I'm still doing it. My mom's still waiting to go back to school. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Are you so. going to go to school? Get, <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Get a degree? A Can't you be a doctor? I'm a lawyer. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> it's snakes. <laughs> Oh man! These are just a collection. Of, I've got a big library of books I collect, but these are just different books on um, autobiographies and biographies of different old herpetologists, snake hunting books, old books on venom. Uh, these are old state regional field guides from going back to the uh, you know late 1800s. So a lot, a lot of neat stuff. This, I noticed oh, this. This is this is incredible. This is like yeah. this is like a holy grail thing here. This woman used to freehand everything. And people sit there and tell me that I'm nuts when I, I play with my cobras. I sit there and say, no, they like it. They, they like the affection. This, she did it way back in the 40s and the 30s. She was freehandling. She's freehandling a rattlesnake. Now that's something I, I don't take it that far. I trust my cobras. I'm a little whacked, but you have to be. <laughs> but rattlesnakes, I know where to draw the line, but she is just, oh. Man, and she finally died though. She got bit by a cobra. Huh? She did doing a film. Uh, she was doing a film not using her cobras, and they wanted her to have some wild cobras, and that's what one of them grabbed her. See, so, that's yeah, that's the thing. That's the yeah. thing you never do. It's I never do it. I never pick up a snake without protective gear, or you know, a hook, or using something like that. Unless it's a snake I've had for a long time. I you learn that snake. You learn how that snake's going to react, what you can get away with. And people are like, oh, you're just showboating. No, it's not showboating. I have an honest respect for that and a love for these animals. I, I can't help it. I'm like a little kid. I got Hands have got to be on. Got to touch. 
Yeah, it was that way. Yeah, yeah it, it, all yeah. of us are that way, you know. It's just people, <laughs> oh, look at the old, oh my God. Some old priceless going back. Uh, I got to get you an old Glades one. Yeah, I've actually got quite a few. I've got some. I've got a whole bunch of glades ones, and there's probably some in there. No, Maybe. there's no green. <laughs> Back in my office, I've got stacked that much. <laughs> I could fill these all these with, with stamps, postcards, and uh, and price lists. I just yeah, put a few cool. highlights in there, some people. But uh, yeah, some different odds and ends, all the different stamps. That's cool. I know there's the shed. <laughs> these are these are this is an original or no? This is actually a plate, but uh, most of these are originals here. Wow. And uh, Tel Hicks is actually doing a portrait uh, or plate of every rattlesnake of Arizona. So we're going to actually do a book uh, using this. These yeah, pictures. I heard you yeah. guys were going to do the yeah, book. It's on probably this. three years off. Here's another one of the plates, and this is another one, the clobber eye and the price eye. He's uh, just finishing up the uh, Willard Eye Obscurus plate right now. Wow. He'll have that at the uh, Tilly Park. Uh, show there in RBC in October. And I, you and I were talking and you were telling me there's Obscura right behind your shop. Right behind us here in the Palantinos are Obscura. So we're Obscura, so wow. we were just recently discovered there in the last 10 years. And then uh, and now these are the snakes that they were only believed to be in Mexico, correct? Yes, in fact, up until the 50s, they were considered to be Silas, we Silas. And, and then, then they, they were, were given, divided the, they, were, they were divided off. And uh, they're just recently found to be in Arizona. Oh, that's so that's where just the amazing. Where the crosses in Arizona. That's amazing. That's yeah. the, that's the obscure since that one. Yeah, there. it's the only federally protected rattlesnake. That's, the only one. That is cool. That's a, oh man, that's like the holy grail of rattlesnakes. The ridge nose. I they're like in my top two. You know, it's just amazing. Yeah, I love I've those. I've probably got about six or so paintings of them. So you <laughs> <laughs> you're not attached. No, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. That's a beautiful Hilo picture, too. Yeah. He just does such incredible work. And to go to Bob's shows, a lot of times he's set up at the shows, and he's sitting back there painting on it, working on his paintings. And it's it's just so, it, so much time goes into these. Oh, that's amazing. It's, it's, he spent two months here already this year, and he's uh, he's coming back the first part of next year. But he'll be at the Tinley Park show in Anaheim. That's yeah, I can't wait to or see in, uh, it. in Tinley Park. Yeah, so. yeah. You yeah. love Tell and his family. Yeah. They're great people. Oh yeah. Oh, this is, I, I, dude. I gotta congratulate you. Your dream. Yeah, it's finally come, here. It's yeah. come, and it's like uh, five years of hard work, but it's oh, finally, yeah, finally paid off. Now, what pays for all this is eco in the back. That's what the shirts and the hats that we do. Sure. That's what really. You know, sure, this this, yeah, this it pays for your hobby. Exactly. That's a, yeah. It's like, you know, Glades keeps my hobby for reptiles and everything alive, yeah. and it's what I love doing. It's, sure. it, it's my way to stay in it and yeah. able to make a living exactly. doing it. Yeah, it's like you know, I get you for a living do the things I love, love right. to do. That's the nice thing is everything's deductible. <laughs> it's not my fault I like doing <laughs> <and> stuff. Right, <laughs> so, right. Yeah. It's, it's like, sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's actually what I do for a living. People meet me and they're like, so what do you do? And I'm like, uh, play with snakes, play with crocodiles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and Publish books on yeah. reptiles and play with them. And you go out in the field to see them in the wild is the best thing. That's, that's what's yeah, cool. That's we, caught, we actually, uh, before you guys got here, we were here waiting on you guys to open. And right. We actually caught a black tail under one of your signs out there. Oh, awesome. The cool, yeah. We, we just picked up the sign. And Whoa! Oh yeah, little black tail. So we put the sign down, left oh, her cool. there. It was cool. Very cool. It was yeah, neat. it's amazing all the animals you see around here. We we're just walking, you know, looking for snakes. And I love Arizona. See coach whips and pronghorn and everything else. Yeah, just driving down the road. Arizona's it's like Florida. There's such a wide variety of wildlife. Yeah. yeah. You know, but now in Arizona, you can't go out and catch Burmese pythons. You I can't. Can. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, they can't. They can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's cool.